took us two days to get the first kit out, which is about 10,000 pieces, 10,000 shields. But now we're up to like eight, uh, eight skids a day. Masks can be difficult for some people to use, and if you'd prefer a face shield, you might be in luck, as one Winnipeg company is working on building one million of them this month. We've been a week and a half into the process and we're just ramping up. Before Safe Face Shields started the journey to one million face shields for a government contract, they were building them for frontline workers. We donated some at the beginning for some hospitals and some doctors, and they like the like the product, so we start improving, like we get feedback from them. The federal government put out a tender for five million face shields, and this Winnipeg company is building a fifth of them. While it sounds like a lot, the new face shield is so efficient to make, they've broadened their target goal. With this contract, we're able to, like there is some room to be able to give back a bit to the community and hopefully will we'll help. They're giving back by creating thousands of masks on the side and donating boxes of 20 to 100 to each school in Winnipeg. With a nine-year-old daughter of his own, the reason is close to home for Gabra. We think the protection you get from the shield will be very similar to what uh, a mask will give you. And with the, with the new shield that we're developing there, it's more, it's quite discreet that, that you can, I guess I'll just switch to it. The kids can still, you can still see their face and see their expressions while you're still protected from, uh, and then more, more face protection. Gabber says as long as the supplies are available, his crew is more than willing to help keep people safe during this pandemic. Everybody's kind of excited and happy to work, which is a good feedback we're getting, and it's, uh, it's been a fun uh, run ride so far. In Winnipeg, Mike Albanese, City News.